Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I wanted to talk to you today about your word, your word for the year. Okay, um, this is something I do almost every year and I have for the past, I don't know, five or eight years or something like that. And a lot of people I know do a word for the year or a phrase for the year that they want to plan ahead for the next year, right? And um, it's funny because I almost forget what my word was for this year. I'm pretty sure that it was freedom. <laughs> and I say pretty sure because... I think I got too busy and didn't have enough freedom and so it got a little muddled and now in the holidays I'm looking at reflecting back on this year and uh, what happened in my business, what happened in my personal life, what has been good, what has been not so good uh, so that I can turn towards 2019 and plan differently, do things differently, make sure I implement new things as well as uh, do the things that were working and maybe don't stop doing the things that weren't working for me. And you know, we should always do this. We should always reflect. And I just did this yesterday in my mastermind, my Live Big Mastermind. And it was just interesting to see some of the, the thoughts people had. We don't always celebrate our successes for the year. And I think it's important to celebrate your successes before just continuing to move on. I sometimes feel like a little freight train and I just keep going. I'm like the little engine that could. I just keep going and going and going without necessarily stopping to get off and smell the roses or celebrate and have a party about whatever accomplishment I just did. Now, I don't necessarily need to have that celebration, so to speak, in order to fulfill me. I'm pretty darn fulfilled and encouraged and motivated already, so I don't necessarily need that um, extra validation, but a lot of you might. So I would encourage you to reflect and write a list, make a list, get a piece of paper out, make a list of all the things that you have genuinely uh, accomplished for the year and it could be things like you know what I made the decision to leave my job or I made the decision to actually be serious in my business that's an accomplishment okay or I finally figured out how to do an email newsletter that's an accomplishment right or I um, I finally have my voice or my message down that's an accomplishment it doesn't have to be oh I made a hundred thousand dollars it could be just the littlest smallest growth in yourself, in your business, uh, the tr any transformation whatsoever, any um, project that you completed. Uh, did you write a book? Did you write an article? Did you write a fir first for the first time on your blog? Okay, that's an accomplishment. Don't undervalue the little things because they all add up to you were very accomplished, most likely, in this last year. And I don't want you to undervalue the fact that you probably were, okay? So look back and reflect on what you did. And if you had a word, did you actually maintain that word, right? So I was freedom. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think I had a lot of freedom. <laughs> we didn't plan as many vacations as I wanted to plan. And... You know, I, without blame, without blaming, there was some custody ex-wife stuff going on. So some of it, we had our hands tied, okay? And uh, and so it wasn't as, it was very, it was quite stressful actually in that regard. And so we're putting some things in place though now so that we don't have that same year and the same experience moving forward. So we're definitely taking those steps to stop that frustration and stress. Uh, and so you wanna look, you wanna look at what's going on, what, what you can prevent, what you can um, put in place, so to speak, to set yourself up for a better year, a less stressful year, a more healthy year, a more self-love year, a more prosperous and profitable year, right? All of this is important to us. So I think my word for 2019, and I'm still rattling around in my head what I really think, but after this last couple months, I've had a very busy couple months with traveling and conferences and speaking and follow up and the marketing with all of the people that I've met, as well as launching a new book with 26 authors and corralling all those people into a project and getting them all to 
pay attention and, and do the things that I'm asking them to do. Boy, was it a busy month. And honestly, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and so a lot of you say, well, how do you do it all, Katrina? Well, I do it, but then sometimes I'm exhausted. <laughs> so today I'm coming to you exhausted. And I actually was on a call earlier this morning with some of my, um, I, I call them a mastermind. Uh, I'm in a couple different organizations and groups that I consider a masterminding type of a group for me and where you can, you know, let your hair down a little bit and pull back the curtain a little bit. And yeah, I did tear up a little bit because I was just plain tired. <laughs> I was just plain tired. And so it's not always easy for me, even though it looks like I make it easy. Honestly, uh, um, I've taken on some projects that are, that are new and I didn't know what they would be, I would get, be getting into. And so now, uh, especially with the book launch with the compilation book, which is uh, now an international bestseller, Jumpstart Your Blank, right? Uh, so, so proud of that. So proud of my authors for getting to that status as well. Uh, I'm reflecting on what I could do differently in that process because I do want to do another one. I do want to do another one. It was super fun working with authors and getting 25 other authors to be a published author this year. So I was super proud and, and excited to help them through that process. So I'm launching another one next year, by the way. So if you're interested, you need to go to my website and, uh, and tell me because we're taking um, applications right now for chapters and you have to pick your word, right? Jumpstart your blank and you fill in the blank. But that's besides the point. <clears throat> the point is that I was reflecting on the systems that I put in place and the process that I took through that whole project, right? And I've already made a checklist and, and a list and a systems for the next time I do it so that it's more streamlined, it's easier. The, the word for me in 2019 is going to be ease, ease, E-A-S-E. It has to be easier for me. And I, this is something I preach, and I have a lot of systems. I have a lot of team. I have a lot of like automated things and technology that does make my life easier, but there's more. There's more to do. And uh, so I want more ease in my life, which will allow me more freedom, less stress. And frankly, I want to help my husband also get out of his job and start his new business, hopefully. So hopefully his job's not looking at this video. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyhow, so I've got, I've got some uh, fun things planned for 2019 and I'm planning on making them easier for me and for you <laughs> to get stuff done, to get more clients, to become an author, to speak more, to make a lot more money doing what you love and and that's my my thought for my 2019 and my word for the year. And I would love to know yours. So I mean, this is this video is going to be on YouTube. It's also on social media, and it's also in a blog post and in my newsletter because I repurpose everything, right? And you should too. So wherever you're watching this video, please comment whether it's on YouTube or my blog or social media. Please comment what your word is what your word is, maybe what it was for 2018 and what it is for 2019 and why. Tell us why. Why do you want that? Why is that your theme for the year? Okay? So that's my challenge to you this holiday. Please go have a very Merry Christmas <clears throat> if you celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody else who celebrates all kinds of other holidays. I, I cherish them all. And um, hopefully you can take time off and rejuvenate. Um, and I know I plan to. And I look forward to more um, empowering, more inspiring you more, educating you more, and, uh, and appreciating all of you a lot more uh, in this coming year. And so please reach out. I want to be a resource for you. I want to be someone who you can... Uh, call or email and say, hey, I'm looking for this type of resource or support and I can shoot you resources. So don't uh, be shy. Don't be shy. I love, love, love helping entrepreneurs in any way possible. Okay. Have a great holiday, you guys. Bye now.